In this video, we will look at dividing polynomials by polynomials. As we do on the division step with long division, we will only focus on the front terms. Let's take a look at some examples. In this problem, we're dividing the x plus 4 into the polynomial x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x plus 30. In the first step with division, we'll only focus on the front term of each polynomial. x cubed divided by x, we find out is just x squared. Whoops. We will then multiply the x squared by the entire binomial. x squared times x is x cubed plus 4x squared. As we combine, we must change the sign, making both the positives into negatives. The x cubes are gone, and we now have negative 6x squared, bringing down minus 15x. We then can repeat the division step by dividing the front terms again. This time, negative 6x squared divided by x reduces to negative 6x. Again, we will multiply that negative 6x by both the x and the 4. As we do, we get negative 6x squared minus 24x. As we combine, we remember to change the signs, making both negatives into a positive. We now have 9x, and we can bring down the 30. Again, we repeat, dividing the front terms 9x by x. When we do, this simplifies to just positive 9. Again, we will multiply the 9 by each of the terms out front. As we do, we get 9x plus 36. As we combine, we change the sign to get negative 6 for our final remainder. Let's take a look at another problem where we use long division in much the same way. In this problem, we're dividing the 2x minus 1 into the 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. Again, we divide the front terms, 4x cubed by 2x, to get 2x squared. When we multiply the 2x squared by each of the terms, we end up getting 4x cubed minus 2x squared. Again, we change the signs, positive becoming negative, and negative becoming positive, to combine, giving us negative 4x squared. Bring down the next term, the positive 12x, and repeat the process, dividing negative 4x squared by 2x. This reduces to negative 2x. Again, we multiply the negative 2x by each term to give us negative 4x squared plus 2x. Changing the signs, positive to negative and negative to positive, so we combine to get 10x. Bring down the plus 8 to repeat one last time. 10x divided by 2x is just 5. Multiplying 5 by the 2x minus 1 gives us 10x minus 5 multiplying by both. Changing the signs so we can combine gives us 13, telling us that our remainder on this problem is 13. Our final answer from dividing is 2x squared minus 2x plus 5, with a remainder of 13, using our long division method.